Without basketballs. Mary Beth! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I had to go buy new balls. What was wrong with the old ones? They're in the same closet with a huge hairy spider. I'm not going in there. There's nothing like the smell of a shiny new ball. Well, I can see myself. And the teddy bear's looking mighty fine. You <laughs> uh, ladies, can we practice? Yeah. Christy, aren't you supposed to be at cheerleader practice? Hmm, practice pyramids or check out cute new guy on team? <laughs> Tough choice. So where is he? Cool your pom-poms, he's not here yet. <laughs> hey, Julie. He's not here yet. <laughs> I know, I can wait. It's only a pyramid. So have they made you the new team captain yet? Well, I haven't said anything to the guys about it. What? People aren't mind readers. If you want the job, you gotta ask for it. <laughs> I'll handle it my own way, okay? Okay. So who's the new guy coach can't stop yanking about? Michael Manning. Vince knows him. Michael lit him up for 42 points in the summer camp playoffs. Oh, not true, Teddy Bear. 40 points. Julie fouled him for the other two. Someone had to stop him. You didn't. Oh. Woo! Whoa! That's cold. <laughs> guy's a hot dog. I don't think we got enough balls on the court for him. We need more balls? I'm not getting them. <laughs> Come on, guys. He's on our team now. Let's give him a chance. All right, huddle up, everybody. Guys, I want you to meet Michael Manning. He just transferred to Daring. Cute. Worth the wait. <laughs> hey, Michael. I'm Julie Connor. Connor, you broke my nose at basketball camp, remember? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's OK. I sank both foul shots in my team once. Man, you look real familiar. Vince Damati, you beat me for 40 points at summer camp finals. Oh, yeah, well, those are the toughest 40 I ever made. And you're Teddy Brodish, right? How'd you know that? I know you have a sweet jumper from the three-point line. Everyone knows you. Oh, you're right. And I'm as bad as I want to be. <laughs> what do you know about me? Nothing. I'm just kidding. I know you. You're Danny Mellon. Best free throw percentage in town. I love this guy. Now, he knows basketball. Why don't you brag about me some more, huh? All right, guys. Talk show is over. It's practice time. Let's go. So, new guy, we got a tradition at Deering. You want to be on the team? You got to be able to dunk. <laughs> That's right. Uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll give it a try. Mary Beth, these are for you. For me, a dozen roses? A dozen? I told the guy I wanted 12. <laughs> what are they for? For being such a great girlfriend. No, really. Really? I even dethorned them. <laughs> he bled for you. That is so romantic. <laughs> oh, hey, guys, what's going on? Oh, Michael, my brother from another mother. <laughs> Pull up some booze. Good work out there today, Michael. You and me, we have an understanding. I pass you the ball, you make me look good. I like that. <laughs> there seems to be a shortage of booth at this table. <laughs> Mind if I join you? There's no room left in the Michael Manning fan club. Michael's here? 
See you later. Can you believe them? That's just guys, when they get a new toy, they have to play with it till it breaks. <laughs> Beautiful flowers. Are they from Vince? Yeah, you are so lucky. Isn't she lucky? You are just so lucky. <laughs> I know, which is why I feel so terrible. I have an awful secret. A secret? Ooh, I love secrets. Spill. <laughs> when I went away to space camp, I kind of met a guy. Was he cute? What's his name? Oh, come on, girl. Details, details. His name's Ryan. We were driving into town in his principal's dorky old car when the radiator... I'm gonna check the radiator. Yeah, good idea, but be careful. No, I'm sure it's cooled by now. Ah! Oh, oh. Here, here, here. This will help. Thanks. This feels a lot better. Mm. terrible mistake and I still love Vince but I feel so guilty you used to be really lucky didn't she used to be lucky you used to be so lucky <laughs> so did you talk to the team did you tell me you wanted to be captain well not yet but I was high scorer last year I'm sure they know we better make sure the team knows how you feel. You guys, we have to talk. I was up all night. Me too. My mother bought me these new satin sheets and I just kept sliding right off the bed. <laughs> Will you stop talking about you? I need to talk about me. I feel sick about not telling Vince. Oh, then tell him. You've got to be crazy. He'll dump me. I can never tell Vince. Tell me what? I'll tell you that they're not really friends on friends. <laughs> Christy, we're late for class. No, we're not. Come. Here, I brought you a gift. Oh, how sweet. It's a picture of us at the state fair. Ooh, I don't look so good. It was right before you barfed on the turbo teacup. <laughs> <sighs> Even when you're green, I still love you. Vince. I do have something to tell you, but it might make you mad. You can never make me mad. You seem mad when I wrecked your Jeep. I wasn't really mad. I was being Italian. <laughs> Vince, when I was at space camp, I kissed someone else. Boy, I just love this frame. Where'd you buy it? <laughs> you kissed another guy? Yes, but it, it didn't mean anything. I still love you. I just wanted to be honest. Oh, and I feel much better. Phew! <laughs> Well, here's a little honesty for you. We just broke up. Ready? Go! Let's go, Brogan! You're running out of time! Come on, Ted! You didn't make it. You gotta run again. Oh, coach! What's a few seconds between brothers? <laughs> Get on the line, brother. <laughs> well, come on, Teddy, I'll run with you. Hey, we'll all run with him, guys. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready? Go. Yeah, come on, Teddy. Come on, Teddy. Come on. <laughs> Keep up, Teddy. Come on. Come on! Great! All right, way to go, Tornadoes! Right. Great practice! All right, way to work hard, everybody. I like what I'm seeing. Keep up the good work. Here, Vince. Guys, I feel great about this team. I mean, we're hitting the boards harder, we're playing tougher defense, and with Michael down low, we're gonna be solid. Hmm? Mikey, my man, there's a daring tradition. New guy buys the burgers, so whip out your wallet. You got to feed the teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before feeding time, we got to pick a new team captain. Coach is right. We need a real leader, someone you can count on. Right? Who else could it be? Yeah. Give it up for Michael. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're kidding. Sounds good to me. Guys, that was a pretty quick decision. I mean, why don't we make it official? 
How about a show of hands? Okay. It's unanimous, Michael. Congratulations. Hey, thanks, Alex. Alex. Oh, All right. Right. All right. All right. I can't believe it. <laughs> Zoom air gets. Julie, where were you this morning? You were supposed to meet me at Donut World. I gained six pounds just waiting for you. <laughs> I felt like sleeping in. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't seem fine. It's because you didn't make captain, right? I said I'm fine. I just don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> Hey, Vince, Vince, check this out. Teddy can stick his entire fist in his mouth. Show him, Teddy. <laughs> Prepare to be dazzled. Oh, this is so great. Now, this is a showstopper at all the Brodus family picnics. Yeah, great. Oh, no, he's still got a knuck on the thumb to go. Look, I'm not in the mood. Mary Beth just told me when she went to space camp, she kissed a guy. Whoa. I'm guessing that wasn't part of the anti-gravity training, huh? <laughs> I'm so mad I could put my fist through the wall. Use your head, man. That would hurt. <laughs> no, man. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Mary Beth's in foul trouble. And Vincent, you're in the bonus house, you dig? <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing with all that greasy food? Do you know what that stuff does to your arteries? Christy, I don't really care. Well, you would care if you saw the heart operation I was watching on the medical channel. It was great. They cut right through this guy's chest with a power saw, and then they took this rib spray and they tried to crack him all off it. Ugh. That's gross. Not to a future doctor. I gotta get used to gross. Julie, if you're upset with the team, you should talk to them. Now's the perfect time. No, thanks. Hi, Julie. And bye, Julie. Nice chatting with you. <laughs> Mary Beth, we need to talk. Privately? Okay, okay. But the next time I have a secret, don't expect me to tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to work through the negativity of my anger. That's really impressive, Vince. I learned it from my shrink. You're actually seeing a psychologist about this? Well, sort of. That guy Fraser on TV. He's helped me unlock my true inner feelings. Okay, I suppose he counts. He said the best way for me to heal is that the guilty party, that would be you, is to perform acts of kindness to the suffering party. That would be me. Oh. Oh, Vince, tell me how I can help. Well, I wrote up a few things. Vince, how can I pop? Help me heal, Mary Beth. <laughs> Hey, we're going to see the new Jim Carrey movie. Yeah, they say it's better than Liar Liar. Yeah, but they're probably lying. <laughs> okay, lead the way, Cap. The movie just opened. You'll never get tickets. Not for the 5 o'clock show. But if uh, someone were to stand in line right now for the 8 o'clock show... Hmm. Help me heal, Mary Beth. Help me heal. <laughs> I think that's everything. What took you so long? I don't know, maybe after standing in the ticket line for three hours, followed by six trips back and forth for popcorn and an emergency jujube run, I might have slowed down a tad. <laughs> you forgot my nachos. Sorry, do you really need them? <sighs> I suppose I can try and enjoy the flick without nachos and cheese. I'm going. <laughs> Why out there, pick me up some more Milk Duds and M&Ms. Or you pick. Anything chocolate. I like this guilt thing. I'm gonna ride this pony all the way to graduation. Oh, man, you're bad. Uh -huh. Vince? Vince D'Amata? Where have you been? I'm not Vince. I've never seen you before in my whole life. Now leave me alone, Linda Sue Robinson. I'll be Vince. Maybe this will remind you. Oh. I repeat, I'll, I'll be Vince. Excuse me, Miss Thang and last year's pumps. Why are you kissing my boyfriend? What? Vince, you didn't have a girlfriend two weeks ago. <laughs> was she healing you while I was away at space camp? <laughs> Motion offense, 
motion. All right, let's go. Come on now, let's go. What kind of shot was that? You had Michael underneath. I didn't see him. Well, wake up. The guy was wide open. Sorry. All right, huddle up, blue team. Look, came up with a new option for our two play. Julie, this time when you come off the pick, I want you to fake the shot and hit Michael down low. Michael gets the last shot? Yeah. They're going to be keying on you. Michael will be wide open. Let's go. Run the play. Fine. All right, offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, let's go. Let's go. All right, nice. Look where you going, nice. Yeah. Well, what was that? A pass? Try catching it next time, Captain. Hi. Hey, I came here to talk to you. Give me a break. There's nothing to talk about. What's your problem? My problem? My problem is I played hard for the last two years. I should be captain. You walk in and it's Julie who? Look, I can't believe I got captain. But I'm going to make it work. And I need your help. Come on, Julie, what do you say? I give up. Barry Beth, I'm sorry. I swear I only kissed her once and it didn't mean anything. I still love you. I'll do anything. Vince, you just don't get it. Instead of making up for the stupid things we do to each other, we just shouldn't do stupid things to begin with. Do you understand or did Fraser not do that episode? <laughs> they did, but with Eddie the dog. <laughs> Vince, we can't hide things from each other. Either we're totally honest or we should split up. I don't want to split up, Mary Beth. Honest. Me neither. <laughs> I like this honesty stuff. <laughs> Julie, hoops are that way. Not today. Oh, where are you going? I don't feel like practicing, okay? Not okay. Man, ever since Michael came on, you've been acting weird. Look, you guys made your choice. He wanted Michael. So what do you care if I practice or not? Did you take a vitamin that made you stupid? <laughs> I mean, just because we made Michael captain doesn't mean that we don't want you on the team. What about the rest of us? Michael coming on the team changed a lot of stuff. Yeah. Not having that little letter C on your uniform shouldn't stop you from being part of the team. It's what having the letter means. That my team's behind me. Well, it wasn't a vote against you. I mean, we just voted for Michael because he gets us fired up to play our best. Besides, we didn't even know you wanted it. But we'll tell you what we want. We want you out there. We need you out there. It's up to you. And switch it. Stretch it up. All right, everybody, bring it in. Where's Julie? She might be in the girls' locker room. Let me check. I, I, <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Coach. It won't happen again. Better not. Coach, I need to talk to Michael for a minute. Go ahead. Michael, it bugged me that the team picked you captain over me. But that wasn't your fault. Anyway, I trust those guys. And if they think you're going to be a great leader, so do I. Thanks. <laughs> but if I'm ever open for the last shot, I'm going for it. I hope you do. Trust me, I will. And I won't miss. <laughs> All right. Let's have a great practice, guys. Let's get it in right here. What time is it? Tornado time! <laughs> a new 
the PNBC season premiering today. Here's Hangtime team captain Adam Frost. He's Hangtime's new Top Gun. Adam thunders towards the impossible mission of preparing those Hangtime hoopers for a new TNBC. Adam's resemblance to a well-known Hollywood motion picture icon is purely coincidental. We at TNBC intend to... <laughs> I'm sorry, we do not intend to exploit this resemblance in any way at all. Except to tell you to watch Adam Frost on all new episodes of Hang Time, premiering today on TNBC. Does he look like... Hey, Beth, why are you doing this at practice? Because I knew the whole team would be here, silly. <laughs> and I got everything for only $1,000. $1,000? That's our budget for the entire year. The entire year? I thought it was each week. <laughs> you got to take them back. Well, there's just one little problem. I can't. They're monograms. All right. And initials, too. <laughs> hey, Beth. I mean, we need that money for things like uniforms, balls, buses for away games. Does the team have to go away? The buses make everyone nauseous anyway. <laughs> Mary Beth, you owe the team a thousand dollars. Okay, I'll talk to Daddy. You know, guys, I was thinking. We should do something to make this year special. Something that shows team unity. Yeah, we need a look. We need an image. Like if we all grow goatees. Oh, yeah. uh, goatees? Excuse me? Okay, bad idea. But there's got to be something. I know. We can shave our heads. <laughs> the guys at Cranston High did it. They had to. They had head lice. <laughs> Guys, team unity problem solved. Tornado goggles. What do you think? <laughs> I tell you what we think. <laughs> hey! Tomata? Is that you under those goofy goggles? Tom McDonald? <laughs> no way! <laughs> Guys, you gotta meet Tom. He used to play for Deering. I learned my game from this guy. So, you're the guy we should blame. <laughs> <laughs> I played with Tom my freshman year. Of course, I had to carry him. He only averaged 27 points, 9 rebounds, and 7 assists. You're that Tom McDonald? Oh, man, you're a legend. <laughs> thought you were playing college ball. Yeah, I blew out a knee. So I'm back home managing the stadium, going to school part-time. Manager, huh? Cool. Does that mean we get friends with a manager discount? <laughs> sure. In fact, first round's on me. Woo! Free food! <laughs> <laughs> You are the wind beneath my buffalo wings. I can't believe it. Daddy said no. He actually said no. Your father's not giving you the money? No. He said I should take responsibility for my own mistakes. Isn't that child abuse? <laughs> Why don't you just get a job? <laughs> That's cute. Well, job is a great idea. You must be good at something. She's good at ordering me around. Oh, shut up, Vincent. Move over. Ooh, can you guys grab these plates? Yeah. Ah. I'm a little short-handed today. One of my waitresses quit this morning. You need a waitress? Yeah. You know anyone? I don't have any clothes that go with onion rings. Do you have restaurant experience? She knows how to make reservations. Good enough. Job pays minimum wage plus tips. You can make a couple hundred bucks a week here. She'll take it. When can she start? Uh, can I be involved in this decision? What decision? You need a job. Tom's got one. If you ask me, it's a no-brainer, Mary Beth. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll take it. Great. Thank you, Mary Beth. Saved my life. Hey, guys. I have an 
an idea for the Team Unity thing. We can all wear wristbands on our elbows, just like the Pacers. Yeah, save that for next year. We've already decided what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. What? Tattoos! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like the pros. Now, that's the thing to do. But we all get the same one. One team, one tattoo. Uh, I'm not so sure that's really good. Tattoos! 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 Tattoos!
no. We're thinking of Chad Older. Uh, do you have a catalog we could peruse? Our catalog? Peruse this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that one looks like it's breathing. It is. Oh. I've also got pit bulls playing poker on my back. Wanna see? No. You're lost. Before we start, fill out these forms, huh? Uh, check this out. Uh, we're not liable for infections, discoloration of skin, mm -hmm. scarring, or painful death. Get out! You're making that up. Oh! Oh! It hurts. Okay. Who's next? <laughs> Did we say tattoo? We meant ta-ta! <laughs> So they wussed out, huh? Vince made me promise not to tell. They're real embarrassed, so don't let them know you know. Don't worry, I won't. I'm just gonna mess with them a little. <clears throat> hey, guys. Something seems, uh, different about all of you. Yeah. You all seem tattooed. Come on, let's see them. Yeah, show them off, you buff, manly men. <laughs> no, actually, we're not allowed to show them right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Why not? Uh, well, for the first 24 hours, they can't be exposed to the yeah. light. Air. Light. <laughs> They're sensitive to air and light. So, when can we see these great team tattoos? Oh, at what? the tip-off banquet? Great. I'll tell the whole school. <laughs> Way to go! Tip-off banquet? <laughs> Uh, you think you can give me a ride home later? Uh, okay, but I'll have to come back. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll give Mary Beth a ride home. See that, Mary Beth? You're in good hands. Bye. Mary Beth, I've got something for you. What? Your first paycheck. You're not working for free, are you? Thanks. Listen, I know you took this job to pay back the team, but I hope you can stick around for a while. You're my best waitress. We'll see. Well, maybe this will help you decide. I'm giving you a race. What do you say? Oh, that's nice. Not even a handshake. There. That's not so bad, is it? Wait, what are you doing? Come on. Cut it out! You know, Mary Beth, if you want to keep her job, you better loosen up. Here we are in this simple... ...time for the guys leaving me out of the team unity thing. <laughs> Did you not hear me say you little stupid lax? It's a fake. <laughs> oh. Sneaky. Very sneaky. <laughs> hey, Mary Beth, check out Julie's tattoo. Oh, that's nice. Hey, is something wrong? Tom tried kissing me last night at work. He said if I didn't loosen up, I would lose my job. What? He can't do that. What a creep. I don't know what to do. I need that job. Forget the job. He's harassing you. That's illegal. You don't have to take that. You should tell somebody. Who's going to believe me over Mr. Allstate Popularity? You are not going back there. I won't. I'll call in sick until I figure out what to do. Hey, babe. Hi, Vince. Danny. Have you been crying? Oh, no, I missed your birthday. <laughs> My birthday? Lincoln's birthday? Vince, you didn't forget anything. It's Tom McDonald. I missed Tom's birthday? <laughs> No, Vince. At work, Tom's been hitting on me. Last night, he even tried kissing me. What a slime. Come on, Danny. If Tom wants a date so badly, let's introduce his face to the floor. No, no, Vince. I want to handle this my own way. Please promise me you won't do anything stupid. <laughs> Vince, promise. <laughs> 
Okay. This is Brown Bear, the Green Leader. We were in copy visual contact. This is Green Leader. What? Are you in position and can you see us? Yes, the video camera is on. I can see you and Purple Pebble. I told you if I have to be Purple Pebble, I'm not playing. Danny, this isn't a game. Danny, how are you supposed to be hiding? Everything's set. Tom totally bought the story about me filling in for Mary Beth. Mm, good work, Red Robin. We'll take it from here. Okay. <laughs> it's a rat! Ah! I think it's hit my leg! Run! Save yourselves! It's too late for me. <laughs> Where did everybody go? They were done. They couldn't eat another bite. Oh. So I guess it's just the two of us, you know, you and me, all alone. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Boy, you know, my shoulders are killing me. Oh, well, if you're that tired, why don't you go home? I can finish up. <laughs> uh, goodbye? <laughs> have a problem. Hey guys, before you show off those tattoos, check this out. You got a tattoo? Yeah. I don't want to be the only player on the team without one. Julie, uh, well, about those tattoos, we sort of never got them. What? You mean Julie's the only one who went through all that pain and agony? We got close to the pain, but the agony just scared us away. Great. Now I'll have to have this removed. <laughs> that easy you should get your money back it was a fake fence she got it to make a point next time you guys do something for team unity don't forget me i'm on the team too <laughs> i'm sorry we've been stupid team unity hug huh? julie sandwich <laughs> guys i've made a decision i'm telling coach about tom I think that's a smart idea. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. <sighs> Coach, can I talk to you? Sure. What's on your mind? This is hard for me, but I have to quit my job, and I don't know when I'll be able to pay back the team. What's the problem? Tom McDonald. How could you have a problem with Tom? Well, hey, Coach. Tom? Come here, Beth. The problem is Tom has been coming on to me at work. He said if I didn't kiss him, I would lose my job. I can't believe that. Well, I was just kidding around. I don't think that's funny. Coach, come on. She takes things way too seriously. <sighs> Tom, this is serious. And I'm very disappointed. It sounds like you got a real problem. I'm going to be talking to your boss. Now, why don't you get out of here before I bounce you out? Yeah, but, but Coach... Now. I, I mean it. Thanks a lot, Coach. Mary Beth, if this ever happens again, don't wait. You have to tell somebody right away. Somebody who can help. Believe me, I will. <clears throat> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You want to go home? No. 
I want to stay here with my friends. For years, English has been taught with books and tapes. But on Thursday nights, we've tried a radically new approach. I'm not wearing a blouse. I'm not wearing a blouse. PR has had a positive effect on their counting skills. One, two, three. Hey, whatever works. Clear! NBC Thursday nights, a valuable learning tool. For the love of God, live! game of the season, everybody signs my underwear for good luck. Yeah, we live for this. <laughs> Who's first? I'll go first. Anything to help us win, we gotta be Linwood. Yeah, Michael, you're old school. Must be tough going against your old team, huh? Ah, uh, it'll be great seeing those guys again. Even greater kicking their butts off the court. Yeah, we're all with you, Michael. Linwood's going down. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We'll be there for you. Dear Teddy, I'll be behind you all season Vince. check it out it's mikey manning and the daring tomatoes Ooh, tomatoes which one of you sprained your brain thinking up that one you got mikey to thank for that nickname he thought of it hey that was before i moved i didn't like you guys then but now i'm a deer i don't like them you're gonna hate us when we wipe the course with you losers on friday maybe you and your girls should just forfeit girls, pal. No, 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 no. Hold my drawers, Julie. I'm gonna handle this one. No, 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 no. Let me handle this one. I know how to talk to these guys. See you Friday, losers. Oh, and say hi to your parents for me. I will. They ask about you all the time. And Friday, you guys are going down, because we're ten times better without you. Guys, we gotta blow them out. Huh? Hello, Coach Fuller. Hi, Leslie. Leslie? Oh, my. Wow. I don't believe it. What are you doing here? I'm the new vice principal. Vice principal? Wow, <laughs> congratulations. Wait a minute. That means that my ex fiance is now my boss? Isn't it funny how life works? Right. <laughs> We should catch up on things. Maybe over coffee. That'd be nice. I'll see you later then, Billy. Count on it, Leslie. I mean, boss. <laughs> what happened? What happened? What'd they do? What did who do? The Linwood cheerleaders. They must have done something to start the prank war. They're all doing that laugh, you know? <laughs> I get the point, Christy, but I didn't hear about any prank. Until now. I knew it. I knew it. You know what? I know something. I know it. You know? Well, as our head cheerleader, it is your duty to fight back. You're right. Calling their parents to complain. <laughs> You're missing the point. Get them back with an equally sneaky prank. Like what? Something like, like gooey toilet paper and, and drippy shaving cream. Can't I just send a really mean fax to the principal? <laughs> Christy, attack! Make Deering proud! Ooh, 
I'm not cleaning this up. <laughs> Two sugars and a drop of cream. Oh, you still remember. I'm impressed. So, Leslie, what happened to us? I mean, one day we were engaged, next day we we're going our separate ways. As I remember, you went your separate way when you followed your first love. The NBA. I love this game. <laughs> Ooh, check it out. Love at table four. Hmm. Looks like the coach is playing a little one-on-one, -on -one, huh? Mm. <laughs> oh, I think it's so cute when old people act romantic. <laughs> Me too. Let's go bug them. Hey, guys, we don't have time for this. We gotta practice. Okay, but first we gotta mess with the coach, man. This is too good to pass up. <laughs> hey. Hey, coach. Guys, we just came by to say hi. And to find out who this fine-looking lady is. Enchanté. Hello. This is Miss Williams, your new vice principal. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, I, I think I just got beeped. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Bye. And your name is? Uh, Vince. Vince DeMata. <laughs> Teddy, tell her you're not me. Uh, excuse me, Miss Williams. I think I owe you an apology. My name isn't Vince Damata. It's Danny Mellon. <laughs> All right, next team to score wins. Let's go, guys. Step it up. Yeah. Nice, nice. Michael, Michael, Michael. All right. Yeah. All right, that's practice, everybody. Way to work, Michael. That's a great job on defense. Thanks, Coach. Hey, Coach, is it okay if some of us hang around for some extra shooting? Okay, but you just had a hard practice. So just shoot some free throws, and that's it, all right? Okay. All right, all right thanks. Okay, whoever's hanging, grab a ball. Let's do it. Right. Okay, everybody baseline. Three-man weave. Balls don't touch the ground. Let's go. Three-man weave? Coach said just free throws. I'm team captain. Let me worry about him. Let's do it. Let's run. Ready? Yep. Ready? That's good. Faster. Pick it up, next. That's right, that's good, that's good. Mary Beth, the deed is done. The dew is off the lily and the frost is on the pumpkin. What are you talking about? I did it. I got back at the Linwood cheerleaders. What did you do? Toilet paper the place? Grease all their doorknobs? Talk to me. <laughs> Better than that. Look. This is Butch. Look at that face. Isn't he cute? <laughs> hey, nice doggy. He's Linwood's new mascot. Oh, he ping-ponged our locker, so I stole their dog. Oh, he's so ugly, he's cute. <laughs> Guys, I thought we were going to practice. Oh, we are, man. We're just taking a minute to pet the pooch. <laughs> Come on, we got a big game coming up. We got a lot of work to do. You can start shooting around without us. The game's in three days. Am I the only one here who cares about winning? Chill, man. One minute isn't going to make a difference. Agrees with me. So that's how it's going to be, huh? Fine. I'll beat Linwood myself. as much as he does but this gotta beat linwood thing it's, it's like he's totally obsessed well it's his first game as team captain maybe he feels he has something to prove to everybody oh doggy get, stop play dead can someone help me no just hold the leash for a second no come on i need a little help which even ate my homework all oh, right like anyone's gonna believe that <laughs> fine i'll redo your homework but i am not touching the dog uh-oh coach is coming quick hide him table. Mary Beth, have you seen my... No. But I didn't tell I you... I haven't seen it. Yeah, but... Oh, I'll keep looking. Now, go coach something, huh? Bye. What was that? Uh, what was what, coach? Oh, that growling, wheezing noise. Oh, that. 
sinuses. <laughs> Too close. Wait, let's get Butch out of here. He's gone. What do you mean he's gone? He can't be gone. He's gone. Oh. Guys, I'm glad you decided we need the extra practice. Hey, we want to win just as much as you do. But I'm not sure we should have skipped class for this. It's only study hall. You never know what to do in there anyway. You know, Michael, if we get caught, we're fried. Yeah, don't you think you're getting a little carried away? Trust me, I know this team. Well, let's set up the offense. Let's go. Okay. All right. Why don't we run goal, guys? Go. Go. Let's try that again. Hey, what's going on here? Aren't you guys supposed to be in study hall? You mean this isn't it? <laughs> Coach, we got a big game coming up. We got to kick off the season with a win. Coach Fuller, is this a team practice during class time? Listen, I can. It's not it. the coach's fault, Miss Williams. He didn't know. This was my idea. I want you all back in study hall immediately, and I'll see each of you after school in detention. No, but, but that's our practice time. Not today, it isn't. Now get going, all of you. Leslie, look, they deserve detention. But we have our first game in two days. Couldn't it wait until after that? I'm sorry, but I can't give them special treatment just because they're on the team. Did you find Butch? There's no sign of him. Last I heard someone saw him in the drama class. Well, let's keep looking. <laughs> Any luck? I heard he ran through the Spanish class. thing. He's probably scared to death, hiding in some corner, feeling lost and abandoned. <laughs> Stop that dog! Now let's get one thing straight. This detention is for studying and studying only. I'll be back shortly. Okay, huddle up. Let's go over that out-of-bounds play one more time. Hello? Anybody out there? Hello, Beck. We're in detention, remember? We're not going to beat Linwood sitting on our butts. Michael, we're supposed to be studying. We'll be studying the play. We can use this globe as our ball. Uh-huh. And who are we playing? The desks? <laughs> exactly. Well, I'll just stay all over my guy. <laughs> Danny, I'm serious. Mikey, man, come on. You already got us detention. What more do you want from us? Why don't you just relax? Look, I want to beat my old team. Now, what's wrong with that? Let's run the play. Michael, I guess you didn't understand what I was saying. Looks like you won't be playing in the game because you'll be in detention for the rest of the week. Come on. What's wrong with you? Coach, will you please talk to her? I can't miss this game. Michael, go wait in my office. Leslie, we need to talk about this. Why? Because Michael's your star player and you need him to score points? It's more than that. I mean, there's an important lesson for Michael to learn. And I think I have a better way for him to learn it. What do you have in mind? Until he realizes how badly he's acting, he can't see how he's hurting the whole team. So you still want him to play? Yeah. I mean, I went through the same thing myself when I got traded for my team. He's only going to learn this lesson on the court. When does he get the message that breaking the rules has consequences? Okay, okay, fine. But give him the consequences he deserves. But don't take him out of the game. All right, Bill. But this one's on you. And I hope you're right. Me too. Go! Oh! Why don't you just give him the game, Vince? Why don't you get off?
broke my back. I'm trying. Well, try harder. Hey, hey, back off, Manny. But don't forget, you're part of a team here. I'm sorry, Coach, but you guys got to set some picks, run the plays. I'm not getting the ball. Who made you, Coach? Look, there's eight seconds left before half. I want you to block out on these free throws and then give me one shot coming back down, all right? Let's go. Mikey, where you been? Did you know the game was tonight? We're shooting one. Ball's in play, guys. I've been too busy fouling people to notice. What I noticed was the score reached 32 to 17. Lou, 32 on the clear out. Thanks for the foul shots, Michael. Shut up, man. Technical on Manning. What are you trying to prove? And the guy's got a big mouth. Yeah, and now you have four fouls. Sit down. Bass, you're in for Manny. That could be the worst half of basketball I have ever seen. What is with you guys? I don't see my team out there. It's because Michael's obsessed. He wants to beat Linwood all by himself. Yeah, man, I've been open all night. And you could run the plays once in a while. Hey, I'm the only one who's scoring. Oh, I'd score two if I took every shot. Yeah, well, you're throwing up bricks tonight. Hey, that's enough, Michael. Your attitude is taking this team apart. And now it's up to you to fix it. And when you're ready to lead your team and pull them together, I'll be waiting for you out on the court. I want to return Butch and say I'm sorry I took him. I've talked to him and he's forgiven me. I hope you can too. That's not Butch. Butch died a year ago. <laughs> that's not Butch. Who is he? That's Buzz, the principal's dog. He's been missing for a week and there's a $500 reward. <laughs> Where's all of that cash? I mean, dog. <laughs> What are you doing? How could Michael possibly be learning his lesson if you're out here and he's in there? Trust me, his team is helping him learn it right now. <laughs> Coach, I'm sorry, I messed things up. Michael, you just have to remember there's more to sports than just winning. You're right. I cared more about winning than the rest of my team. It's a sure way to lose. And the most important thing is you gotta find a balance. Understand? Yeah, Coach. All right, now, will you guys go out there and kick me some Linwood butt? Yeah. All right, hands in. Tornadoes on three. One, two, three. Tor Tornadoes! Yeah. seconds left we're down by one you need a basket on this out of bounds play or the game is over what do you want to do coach michael how do you feel i feel good but julie's man's doubling me she's wide open All right, no problem look we're gonna run a line out of bounds play for michael julie you set the pick michael when the double team comes hit julie fade into the corner all right let's get it in right here hey be proud of yourselves you came back as a team Oh, no, Coach, that's because I'm wearing my lucky draw, see? Hey, son. All right, lucky draws on three. One, One two, two, three. Lucky draws! <laughs>
nice game. Thanks. Looks like Michael learned his lesson. Pretty good coaching. Coach. I know a quiet little place. You still like Italian food? Sounds good to me. It sounds good to us too, coach. Come on, guys. Pizza's on the couch. Oh, new season is so cool we had to lay down a wrap here's dion from city guys and samantha from saved by the bell yeah, we're gonna break this down old school style the 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 now you just chill with, with the TNBC. city guys came down a saved by the bell you know how we do because y'all be doing well so every saturday morning you got a date with TNBC. so don't you be late Boy. the new season of TNBC is here with new shows new characters and tons of new laughs